everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's kind of a part two of my last Canva tutorial on how to make your own cash envelopes, printable cash envelopes using Canva. And I got a lot of requests of how you can add in your own tracker on your cash envelope. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I have implemented my own tracker on my cash envelope. So if you guys are interested to see what this looks like step-by-step step, how to do it then keep on watching So in order to do this so that you can see what I am doing Then I'm gonna share my screen here on the computer and just talk you step-by-step step through how you can do this yourself so I am gonna go ahead and show you on my screen. Let me turn on the screen recording all right, so now I have the screen recording here. And in here, I wanna show you guys a little tip on how you can create a white background. So as you see here on the screen, I'll also be showing you guys how to do a tracker on the back and also how you can make the white background so that way it won't print out all of that, that background that you had selected. So if you have not seen the this video of how I show you how to make your own cash envelope, then definitely check out this video that's right up above um, so that you can go ahead and watch that. But let me first share how you can make the background white. And this part, this is the only way that I know how to do it. So if you know a different way, let me know, but this is how I do it. So I just go over here to elements, click um, a square, and we're gonna change the background or the coloring to white, as you see here. And all you're gonna do, <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit time consuming, yes, but I like to bring down the um, transparency so that I can see. And you're, you're honestly, you're just gonna make the background, just like that. And then you can bring up the transparency and just so I know that when you print it out, I wanna extend this out just a little bit more so that it won't print any of that other background. And you're gonna position this to back. And to make sure, I zoom it in, that this edge doesn't show up, you just use your, um, your keypad and you just move it over so that you don't get that white. And there you go. So you're honestly, you're gonna do this for every corner. So that way your background, and you'll just duplicate it. So your background is all white. Bring up the transparency, send it to back. And that one was pretty good. I'm just gonna bring this up and there you go. And again, you can always zoom this in so you make sure that it is not like covering this edge right here. So you just do that all over. Copy this, bring it down here. Maybe make this a little bit smaller since you don't need it that big. I like to do these edges first before I do like these angles. And I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, so I got all of the straight, um, like lines done, but now we still have this little edge right here, those angles. So how do you make it so that becomes white as well? You do it pretty much the same way. The only thing is you're gonna make this just a little bit smaller box and you want to use that, that angle tool and you're gonna just align it as best as you can. And again, you can just zoom this in a lot so that way you can see this and just kind of angle it to be use your your keyboard to 
and you're gonna position it to back and see how it looks. So there you go. That is how I do my angles. And I'm just gonna grab that. I wanna duplicate it and just move it to the other side. Change the angle. Still need to adjust it. Move it to back. And now you want to do that part for each of the angles. All right, so there you go. You have a white background and it's only showing the cash envelope that you will actually print. So now let's get into the tracker. How is it that you can have a tracker printed right on your cash envelope? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I have been doing it um, and what works for me. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is have your like white background so that you can go ahead and make notes of your um, different transactions. So we're gonna go ahead and click on elements and we are gonna pick, um, I like using this one right here where it has that solid background but then that outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, change the background color to white and then just make sure that the outline, I just like using black. And we're just gonna bring this down to size. Let's say about there. And you can make this however big you'd like. If you want it to be the entire um, like length of your cash envelopes, you can do that. Or if you wanna keep it in two different sections, you can go ahead and do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it, let's say about that size, maybe that big. And then we wanna duplicate this. And we're gonna put this, remember the guide, those dotted lines, it shows you what your guide is. So you know that you are in the same place as this side. Now this part, it's pretty much like an eyeball. So I just wanna make sure that this is about centered and an even space. So I think that that is pretty good. Now we wanna go ahead and make our lines. So what you do is um, on this elements tab on the side, you're just gonna type in line and it's gonna pull up different lines. You can use whichever one. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click this solid one. Change the color of the line um, I'm gonna make it black, and then I just wanna make it a little bit a thinner line um, for the tracker. So we're gonna make it pretty thin, and we want it to cover the entire um, shape, the entire width of the shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, again, you can always zoom this in, so that way you know that you're good. And we're just gonna go ahead and make our lines. <laughs> Space it out. So, and this just takes like kind of trial and error to be honest. Um, so you could just duplicate these and try to make them as even as possible. All right, and you could duplicate this and then just make it as even as you can. So now a little tip that I have for you is if you want to just copy all three of these, you just click on the line, hold your shift down, click on the second line, and then also while holding down your shift on your keyboard, click on that third line. You can group it so that it becomes like one item. 
and then you can go ahead and duplicate that group. That way you don't have to keep making those individual lines. So again, just kind of maybe eyeballing this, you can line this up and then you can duplicate it and space it out as evenly as you can. Remember that line is your guide. It tells you that you are in center. And then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it probably one more time. And uh, that's, that's pretty good. So how I would like to have this is, let me click out of this. So you see in this bottom line how you have that little tiny gap. What you can do is ungroup it. You can take this, um, that square behind and just move it up. So it's in line with that. And then you could click on that last line and delete it. So that way you don't have that, okay? And now what I like to do is just select everything. So remember you click on the item, hold your shift bar down, click on the second item and how all the ones that you want to copy. So I want to copy all of those lines and you go over here to duplicate and you're going to move it right over to the next item and you see I'm gonna try to, you see how it has those dotted lines? That's gonna tell you that it's exactly um, where the other one is, like the same position. And you just move it so that it doesn't show like those edges and it looks pretty good. Only thing is we have to move this up and there you go, you have your lines. So now we can go ahead and add in whatever you'd like. So you can put, remember the, the shortcut, you hit T on your keyboard and it brings up text. So you can put date, if you want it to say date, you can bring this down and move that right here. So you can say you want that to be date and you want to copy this since you already have the sizing of the text. And then you can write in like transaction. I don't know what you want to have there, right? Transaction, maybe put it in like the middle. And then lastly, you'll duplicate this and put in the amount. Amount, oops amount. All right. And then again, you want to copy all of this. So hold down your shift, click transaction and then click amount. And we're going to duplicate and move it over to this side. And so now you can go ahead and make your line. So I'm going to click the line, change the color of the line. make the thickness and then with this little tool you can go ahead and turn it so it's um, vertical turn it to 90 degrees and move it up so that you can make your little columns put it in place and drag that down and then you can go ahead and duplicate that to make your next column so maybe put it about, I don't know, about there. And then duplicate that over on this side. Duplicate that. Put it about there. All right, and then we can zoom this out. Let's click out of that. And there you go, you have a tracker on the back of your cash envelope. So that way you can go ahead and print it. Um, so that way you don't have to like keep a separate tracker. And now obviously you can design this however you feel 
um, that you'd like to do that. Uh, this is totally personal to you. You're using this for your own use, then you can design this however you see fit, but there's so much that you are able to do on Canva. And I bet it's so much more than what I am even aware of, and I'm still learning it. But if you guys have any other ideas, definitely let me know. I'd love to share this with you. And also I got some requests on how you can resize this envelope so that it can fit your cash. So I will be filming that shortly. So make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified when I do upload that video. So you can make sure that your cash is actually gonna fit in the cash envelopes that you designed. But that is everything. That is how simple it is. It does take time to add your own tracker. If you don't wanna do it on your cash envelope, then you can do your own separate cash tracker. So if you guys are wanting to see how to do that part of making you know your own tracker, then definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you are enjoying these types of videos using Canva, any other things that you'd like me to share of how to do something thing on Canva, then make sure you just let me know in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. It really does help me out a lot to know what you guys do or do not like, like so that way I can make more of these types of videos for you guys. But that is everything. Don't forget to, su to subscribe if you did enjoy it and you made it this far. Uh, definitely subscribe because I will be making more of these types of content. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.